Hi guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, let's make a quick update on the Dendrobium nobili orchids that I have. Uh, still, some of you asked me about them, about the winter rest and how they're doing and how things affect other things, particularly watering and so on. So I'll tell you what I did to my Dendrobium nobilis this year and how they are. Practically, they're fine. They have buds all over, uh, but some of them are a bit peculiar. So let's take the Dendrobium aurora. This is the newest acquisition. I purchased it at the beginning of this year. It has buds, so the winter rest uh, worked. This guy had to adapt to a new environment, so it doesn't have a tremendous amount of buds, but yeah, I'm good. All canes have buds as well, so this is why I tell you it's not a good idea to remove old canes, because they can rebloom. They also serve as nutrient deposits for the new growths, so overall it's not a good idea to cut old canes, no matter if they don't have leaves. So, don't cut them. Um, but look at this, I have a funny looking oopsie, bud right here. As you can see, this particular hybrid I think produces more flowers per flower spike, I don't know. But look here, I also have a tiny root growing. Now this is not a cakey, sometimes I tell you in the comments that hybrids usually have some anomalies sometimes, I bet you that after the blooms are done on this orchid, this will produce a cakey here, which I will remove because I do not like these cakeys. But you can obviously let it there and have something like, oops, don't fall, have something like this. And um, yeah, you can remove it. If you want to save it, you can remove it after it produces a new growth of its own. And this is how you know it will grow fast. It's going to be vigorous and so on. Um, but yeah, this guy will produce a little cakey here, but it's also producing buds. Now, one of the many questions that I get regarding Dendrobium nobilis is that if you start watering them too early, or if you break the dormancy too early, they will produce cakeys instead of buds. No, this has never happened to me. I don't believe it's possible. Once the nubbins form, they already know what they are. Uh, this is what I think about things, but there you go. I've kept these guys in the other balcony, in the cold balcony, until now. Because I just didn't want them to catch spider mites. But it has gotten really, really cold there right now, so I'm forced to keep them here. I don't have space for them, but that's that. I do the treatment on them as well, even though these guys are free of spider mites for one year, so it's possible. Uh, what was I saying? So yeah, I didn't interrupt the winter rest, and behold! I'll have a cakey. So it has nothing to do with the winter rest actually. Uh, it has to do with the winter rest in the sense that if you don't provide any type of winter rest, you might actually get cakeys instead of buds or you will get a poor flowering. But other than that, once the uh, buds form in the winter rest, you are safe to bring them to a warmer location and start watering them. Just look at the canes, you know the drill. Alrighty, let's take a look at another one. Okay, here is another one. This one has more buds than the other one. One thing that I've noticed is that if you keep them in cool temperatures, like I did, uh, the buds will actually form slower. So I presume these guys will be in full bloom later this year. So when you see the nubbins, you are safe to actually bring them to a warmer location. And this will actually speed up the growth of the buds. But the buds will certainly not die if you keep them cool. I've kept them at about 10 degrees Celsius. Right now it's uh, dramatically low. It's about 2 degrees Celsius in my balcony. So that's way too cold. But yeah, the only bad effect is that the buds will develop slower. Other than that, really they're not affected. They just form normally. They just grow slower. Okay, so this has been the update on the Dendrobium nobilis. Uh, I really hate that I had to bring them in this balcony, but I really cannot keep them in the other balcony anymore. Um, I do the treatment on them. I really don't want them to catch spider mites because they have been free of spider mites for almost a year now, since the beginning of last spring. So yeah, it's possible to get rid of spider mites if you bring your orchids in a totally non-infested location like my other balcony. Uh, if you keep them in the same location, it's harder to get rid of them. But yeah. Alrighty, so thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a regular basis. Also, feel free to leave me comments, suggestions or questions you might have in the comment section below and I'll answer you back. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch a video about how to care for dendrobium nobilis overall. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.